Good day, ladies and jelly. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, what are you doing here? Don't interrupt me during my introduction. Ah, let's start that again, shall we? In here. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Uh, with me, your host, Moonwalker Morris, guiding you through this journey. Uh, where we're, at the moment, watching a woman sleep. Which is creepy for all sorts of reasons, so let's stop doing that. Uh... I can't break into that. Yeah, I was going to steal all of this guy's stuff, but uh, I guess I can't anymore. Because it's all difficult locks and difficult terminals and uh, so much leveling up needs to be done before I can do anything here. Yeah, but anyway, in the last episode we had just discovered the location of the family. And we're talking to all of its members, trying to decipher a bit more about what's going on with Ian West and his family, and we learned that he was the one who killed his parents. So let's go and talk to him, see what he has to say about that. Huh? How'd you get in here? How'd I get in here? The door, Ian. It's a door, you see, open and close. Huh? What do you want? You have a far too deep a voice to be that small. I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. He, he's Piss, he man. He's dropped town his town face on whiskey and everything. She's worse than my parents. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. I already know you killed them, but let's let's play that card. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. I do. A very tiny monster with a deep voice. Look, Ian, I know lost too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. Ha, not so. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? They don't care either. Speech 22, let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. No, I'm sorry. Blast. I'll never set foot in that place again. Read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. I mean, it will change your mind. She really misses being home. You read that she really fast. I didn't even take it out of my pocket. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see Arfu. you there as well. I'm just going to gather Arfu, my stuff together and say my goodbyes. Then I'll head on back. Good stuff. You know, if you want to give him some caps, that'd be cool as well. Anything in here? Nope. Uh, oh, I can't even sleep on the bed. It's not even yours. Ugh. Milk. Wait, what was that? Ugh. Okay, finally. The world's most difficult letter to deliver is now delivered. Why am I still, like, grinning? Or frowning? I can't even tell. It's a bit of both. Anyway, let's go and find Vance again. Hello again. Hello again. Where you at? Here we go. You knew here what is that on your back, anyway? Oh, I think he has a, lot a uh, some kind of sword, like flame sword. I think that powers it. I think, anyway. I'm not going to shoot him and find out. That's for sure. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Before I talk about Ian, there's still a matter of Arafu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Okay, you can go for the speech challenge if you want a bit of XP, or you can go for the safe option. Medicine or intelligence. Uh, I'll stick with intelligence because that usually gives the best outcome. There must be an alternative source of blood you can survive on. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Uh, which is the best one? I think it's Arafu donates blood packs and in exchange you protect them. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, that works out for everyone. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Oh, Ian, yeah, he's out of here. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, 
but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. Oh no, hey, oh hey, you know, I'm just a messenger. The damn good one, but I'm a messenger. I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Yes, shish kebab. That's exactly what he's got. That's what I was thinking of. All right, we can get out of here at last. Finally, and I haven't even leveled up yet. Ugh. Yeah, so I think we'll go back. Um, tell Evan King what's his name here to, uh, well, advance his decision. And then come back again, and then tell Vance of Arafu's decision. <laughs> and then, we'll go back to the story. The main story. Yo, see you later. Oh, it's you again. I could do my 100 caps back if you want, but nope, okay. Ah, uh, so yeah. Maybe I'll edit out the journey in between, because... I don't want to bore everyone by running back and forth and back and forth again to this place. Or maybe I'll put it in. You never know what might happen. I might get distracted and find something else on the way. We'll see. We'll see what I decide. Although I like to, when I do something like this, just put everything in. You know, once it's recorded, that's that's it. It's in. It's in there and it's going up and that's, that's the way it is. Ah! There we go. And we're back. Hey there. Oh, I've got sugar bombs for you. So what did you bring me? All one of them. Keep it coming. Will do. I don't know how many you need to take to him. But it's not a fantastic quest to do, really. I mean fifteen but what's fifteen ball caps? Absolutely nothing. Or oh, fifteen ten millimeter bullets, maybe. But I mean you can find those easier. Ah, look how close I am to leveling up. At least I can fast travel between places now. Oh yeah, of course I don't need to edit it. I can fast travel. Wow. I say the most stupid thing sometimes. Okay, let's uh, get back to Arafu. I've read four books in 19 years. Brilliant. How my intelligence is nine, I have no idea. Eight. Nine? Ugh. I don't know. It's high enough, anyway. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Something's glitching around me. You hear that? Could be, could be that? I don't know. I don't want to get caught in that. Yo! There he is! The hero of the day. The hero of the game. It's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arafu again. I know. I talked to Ian. How he did he get here before me? Did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Yes, and you nearly blew Thanks my again, legs off. Kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Ah, uh, XP. Ah, oh, it feels so good. I have a pro. pro little, little. I have a proposal for you from the oh God. Let me just uh, let me just start that again. <coughs> I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Yeah, I'm sure they'll forgive all the all the death and everything. Any help you can provide will be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendous. I don't know why I'm allowed to ask this. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Any scotch? What? Any more help? Sorry, the wells run dry. That's your emergency supply. Come on, back. Scotch, you are. You disgust me. Okay, first things first. Oh my God, I'm only one point away. Yay, lockpick. And 
Probably put a few points on science as well. I still have 11 points. This is amazing. <sighs> maybe, maybe I'll just up it to 50. Up that by 5 and then put the last one on uh, medicine. And then next time I'll do speech and something else. Maybe repair. Oh my god, more perks. <sighs> okay, there's a couple that you can go for at this stage. Uh, the ones I find to be the best are Fortune Finder. So you just get more caps. And Gunslinger, which is, you know, aiming with things like pistols or the submachine gun. It's just better accuracy in VATS, which is pretty good. Although I don't use VATS as much as maybe, you know, some other people do. So I'm going to go with Fortune Finder for now. And I'm also going to break into Evan King's house. To uh, <laughs> And there is a reason for this. Hopefully he won't see me. Oh, come on. Hidden. Yes. He'll probably walk in while I'm doing this, but... It's okay. Me and him, we go way back. After what I just did, come on. You can let me inside your house. But yeah, there is a bobblehead somewhere inside here. Ah, there it is. Repair. Right on that table. So, there we go. Boom. You never know. Okay, so that quest is done. Thank God. I don't think I need to go back. I think you can go back and say, yeah, the, the Arafu's okay with that. And then Vance is like, thanks, man. I don't know why my voice just changed, but thanks, dude. That's so helpful. And I'm like, yeah, dude. And then, okay, that dialogue doesn't happen at all. But you can go back and confirm everything's okay. Uh, but for now... Nope. No, no, no. Following in his footsteps. Oh my god, we're back to the main quest. Can you believe it? Uh, but I need to make one final stop. Sorry, guys. In Megaton. Just to drop off and sell some things that I don't want. And then we'll get to the meat of the project. Because, oh my god, it's about to get good. I mean, if, if the next episode is already up and you're watching this, just, just click to the next episode now. Because, my God, it's going to get good. It's going to get so juicy and good. So let's, uh, let's put some stuff back in here for now. Hello, Wadsworth. It appears you've been wounded, sir. May I suggest you seek medical attention? As soon as possible. A fine observation, Wadsworth. I will sleep it off momentarily. Ooh, there's something in here. Free war money. Yes. Oh, my desk as well. One single dot. That's all worth it. I hope things are going well with you today, sir. Very well, thank you. Alright, let's uh let's repair some stuff as well. Oh, actually. Ah. Oh, that's looking so good now. Yes. Oh, actually. Forget this. Speaking of bobbleheads, there's one more left. Just in case anyone thought I'd forgotten about it completely. And it's in the sheriff's house as well. Which I think, under cover of darkness, I should be okay to get into. No, it's open anyway. Who cares? I think if you don't have the house here, um, either. I think if you don't have the house, it's you, you're not allowed to enter. But yeah, it's upstairs inside the uh, the main bedroom. Strength. So now I can carry more stuff. I hope he didn't want that, Lucas, because it's mine now. Okay, now we'll go back. And repair some stuff. Combat shotgun, yes. Always with the combat shotgun. Ah, sledgehammer. Sweet. Probably going to get rid of it, but sweet. Wait. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what happens when you go back. If you talk to Vance, I think he can increase uh, the effect of blood packs. And I think, as you can see, that your health goes up by 1 if you take them, which is pretty useless. But after you talk to him, it goes up by 20 hit points, I think. So blood packs do become quite useful. So hang on to those. And we'll just deposit the last of our stuff in here. Uh, yeah, keep that. Keep the grenades. As always, I'll be keeping six. 
Why is that? I don't get it. Pulse mine? No. Uh, don't think I need that now, because I've got the other shotgun. Sledgehammer. So I'll wait at 12, so I think I'll put that back. And get rid of that other armor. Put my aid in here. And it's 15 minutes, guys. So, <laughs> I'm so terrified of forgetting about that and just recording for like three hours. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. I've been your host, Moonwalker Morris. And I hope to see you on the next part again, guys. Uh, see you later.